This is your CBS 46 News Update. Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Karen Greer. The Atlanta-based CDC reporting more than 3.4 million doses of coronavirus vaccine have been administered on Easter Sunday. That's a large number, but it did not top Saturday's all-time record of more than 4 million shots in the arms in a single day. It means that 32% of Americans have now received at least one dose of the vaccine. The CDC says about 19% have been fully vaccinated as of Sunday. In all, about 165 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines have now been administered in the U.S. to date. And later this week, Georgia is set to ease COVID restrictions starting Thursday. There will no longer be bans on large gatherings and the shelter in place requirements will be lifted. Businesses can ease restrictions on table distances and police can no longer shut down places not following the state's COVID-19 rules. A group of Republican state lawmakers writing a letter to Coca-Cola demanding all Coke products be removed from their offices. This comes after the Atlanta based company criticized the passing of a new voting law. The eight House members claim the company purposely misled Georgians and deepened a state divide. Meantime, Fulton County Chairman Rob Pitts issuing a statement following Major League Baseball's decision to pull the All-Star game from Georgia. In part, Pitts says he's disappointed in the decision made because of the choices of a few leaders in our state. He goes on to say he stands in support of Cobb County Chairwoman Lisa Cupid, whose community will be hit the hardest. They're predicting to lose millions of dollars. Well, air travel is soaring after the CDC eases its coronavirus related travel restrictions. The sudden increase in passengers overwhelming Delta Airlines on Sunday, the carrier canceling roughly 100 flights because there weren't enough crew members to operate them. To increase capacity, Delta allowing passengers to book middle seats on some planes, something that wasn't in the works to be planned until at least next month. All right, turning now to women's NCAA basketball action. A big congrats to Stanford squeezing past Arizona by just a point to win the national championship title. It was Coach Tara Vanderveer's first title since 1992. The team boarding barges for a victory lap on the San Antonio River. Love it. And in men's basketball action tonight, it's the Baylor Bears and Gonzaga playing for the national title. Neither team has ever won the championship before. Tip off at 9 p.m. and guess where you can see it? Only on CBS 46. Switch gears now and let's get the latest on your weather. Beautiful weekend and it's going to be even better this week. It sure is. Lots of sunshine, not a cloud in the sky today, low humidity. It's going to be beautiful. 70 degrees by the time you eat lunch and we're going to top out today about three to five degrees warmer than yesterday in the mid to upper 70s. So it's going to feel really nice outside through the afternoon. High pressure has been sitting over us through the weekend. It's been what brought us the beautiful weather that's going to continue through the middle part of the week. So tomorrow, sunny 78. Wednesday, we're likely to hit 80 degrees for the first time this week, and we're likely to see some rain and storms on Thursday, but the chance of severe weather does stay low. And then it looks like we'll see low end rain chances last through the weekend. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.